surface anatomy on your bitus splint. And in case that you increase the condylar angle, there are a bit uh, more disclusion, but in the same time, you have more stress on the teeth. So it uh, should be used with the proper numbers, not every number that we use. Okay, we decide how much our night guard should be extended. Uh, in case that we use too much extension and cover the gingiva, maybe we have problem with the hygiene, but we have more retention. So sometimes we need retention, we spread it more. Sometimes we need hygiene, we spread it less. That's uh, our decision about this particular case. And we should use that numbers in uh, the way make our final goal that is disclusion for the patient okay and as you can see we have occlusal thickness we, in in this case 2.5 or 2.2 is good and the peripheral thickness 1.2 is good and uh, smoothing as you uh, increase the number you have more smooth parts now we are going to cut the parts and check it with antagonist. And after that, we are going to uh, free form it because we don't have any contact in the anterior tiss. We add a little bit uh, thickness over there and. In intersection, we have a static and dynamic. In this case, we use dynamic because we use the articulator. And as you can see, the movement of the lower jaw is projected on the upper jaw. And it leads uh, to good disclosure. We have one more option that using the posterior area uh, in a flat way. Okay, as you can see, it flattens the posterior area. It's a favorable uh, case because uh, in case that it's flat, we don't have any uh, interference with occlusion. But of course, we need some uh, kind of Uh, occlusion because in case that we don't have occlusion with our teeth, our teeth will be super erupted and it's not our goal. Okay, so it's better, but it needs a smoothing. Good, perfect. And after that, we do it again. We do this two or three times, and after that, we have almost reached the final goals. Okay, good, perfect. And we, uh, we should have uh, a little bit more length on the contact of the canines. And in this case, we will be sure that the canine, uh, not letting the posterior teeth to disclude the anterior teeth. And that's one of our goals, to have canines uh, discluding oddities and uh, it's better to smooth the inner part because it may uh, insulting for some patient and it lets patients tolerate it better okay everything is good checking for the final time and everything is in good position we have canine ramp, we have posterior flattened, and it fits well with the uh, upper jaw, it fits well with the lower jaw, and it's ready to be 3D printed. Thank you, thank you everyone. Have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed this